Hey guys, welcome back to UC. So today I'm putting a Sanma joystick into this Miss Pac-Man cabinet. And these instructions are gonna be the same no matter which arcade one up you have. The only difference is if you're working with a Wave 1 or Wave 2 cabinet, you will need a different wiring harness but you're gonna be able to select which cabinet you're using when you go to check out and buy that wiring harness. I'm also gonna be installing a Sanwa stick. Different joysticks are gonna be a little different. You could do other joysticks if that's your preference. Mounting them though isn't gonna be exactly like this. I myself am partial to Sanwa sticks. So let's see how to get this into this so we can finally get the level of quality from the controls that I really would like to see in this cabinet. Let's go. All right, and only because some of the videos I've watched on on installing a Sanwa stick in an arcade one up have skipped some steps. I'm just going to make sure that this is super crystal clear. So the first piece is going to be, other than obviously removing the control panel from the cabinet. And by the way, these instructions are going to be the same even if you're not doing a cocktail cabinet. But if you are doing a cocktail cabinet, it's going to look just like this. And we're going to take the plexi off. Super, super simple. Flip this around. I should probably remove that sticker sometime. All right, and we need to unscrew the dust cover here. We're gonna be dealing with a lot of little screws, so make sure you have a tray or something to put them in. I will tell you, if you're working with the cocktail cabinet, having this little auxiliary audio jack connected, unless I want to break open that plastic shell, doesn't go through. This is super annoying, but you are going to have to set this off to the side. Not a big deal, just kind of annoying when you're in here working on stuff. All right, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to connect this joystick to this mounting plate. Why am I going to do that? Well, that way I just don't have to drill any new holes. And the Sanwa JLF sticks fit in this mounting plate. They just require different hardware to do it. And this is the hardware I ordered. I'm going to put a link below. I believe this will work, but we're going to confirm that today. So first step is going to be to remove the mounting plate. All right. Unfortunately, Arcade 1UP likes to use a lot of glue. So even when all these screws are removed, if your build was like mine, it's going to be glued in place. I'm going to show you how to take care of that. Now, unfortunately, I found no elegant way to get this mounting plate off of the control panel. The best option I found is a box cutter type tool because it's thin enough to get it under here and wedge it. You could also try softening the glue up with a heat gun. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Removing this joystick plate might be really easy for you or really hard. It all depends on how much glue the assembler used. In this case, it was really hard. And my other joystick for player two, it was really easy. Either way, here's what I recommend. Use a box cutter. It's so thin that you can usually wedge it under the plate and kind of push. And if you have to, you could cut around the joystick. And if that doesn't work, use a hot air dryer or a heat gun on this for a few minutes to loosen up that glue. But now all the glue is gone. I don't know why they do this. The screws are sufficient for holding this in place. There's no reason to glue it. Maybe they're worried it'll come loose when it's in transport. I don't know. But here's the thing. We need to take these four screws out so that we can take this joystick and mount it to this plate. All right, next we need to unhook or disconnect the wiring harness for the existing joystick. So it's gonna be here. And you could use needle nose pliers for this to make this a little easier. Or just kind of pull them out with your fingers.
All right, so I've transplanted the screws that came with the Sanwa stick. And this is the Sanwa base to the new Sanwa plate. Here's the deal. If you order this joystick without a mounting plate, that's okay. Because you might be thinking, hey, why do I need a mounting plate? I'm going to reuse the one I have. Well, you need it because you need the screws that come with the Sanwa. The arcade one-up screws won't fit. So if that's the case, I've got a link below where you can order just the screws by themselves. Make sure this is nice and tight. When I originally recorded this, I kind of skipped over a crucial piece. You have to connect, of course, the wiring harness to get the new Sanwa stick to communicate with your existing PCB. And how do you do that? Well, you use the wiring harness that I linked below that will split the five wires into their own two separate seats. And they will be marked accordingly. The wiring harness will be marked for up and down and left and right. And you simply match that to the board on the arcade one up, which will mark up and down and left and right, but you can see it here in this image. All right, when you install this, it's crucial that you have the actuators oriented correctly. So I've, I like to mark the one that is pointing downward. So as it stands, I've got my, my wiring coming out here. This is my down arrow. Now we reinsert the PCB and the actuators. Go ahead and screw this down with the new joystick. And so here I've got my down arrow facing away from the control panel, which is what I need. Let's go ahead and rotate this joystick. So this is a Sanwa gate, it is adjustable. You just push out from underneath here. You can tell this is two pieces. So you push out, kind of got to do two things at once. It's a little tricky and then rotate it to the, I guess the left. I think that was the left. My left or your left, one of the lefts. All right, clip this in and now we're in business. So make sure you screw back in place so that that stays nice and sturdy. And let's go ahead and put this back together. The final step is to simply reconnect the dust cover that goes under the control panel, but you guys all know what that looks like. It's the same process that we took to remove it. Just screw it back in place and plug your control panel back to your arcade one up. And again, whether you're doing this on a stand-up cabinet or a cocktail cabinet, it is going to be the same experience. And now we've got that nice Sanwa stick. I hope that was helpful and I hope you enjoy your upgraded joysticks. It'd be nice if the arcade one ups came this way to begin with, with higher quality joystick, especially for games like Pac-Man, but it is what it is. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you have any questions about this process, leave me a comment. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, consider hitting that join button to support the channel, and thanks so much for watching.